it's time for some Python on hardware. Yeah. And there's a lot of Blinka. Um, check out our site and check out GitHub, of course, with Circuit Python. There is a new beta. More bugs being fixed. More bugs being fixed. And You're making our way towards release candidate one. Yeah. Sneaking its way. Good news for the folks who are on the Discord server right now. Congratulations. We applied collectively to be listed in the Discord listing of open source communities, and they accepted us. So if you go to a Discord site or if you search around and you look for um, open source and Discord, a lot of communities use Discord, or at least open source ones, and you go to discordapp.com forward slash open dash source and you'll see a whole list of cool companies and communities and open source projects that use Discord to get together. So if you like the Adafruit community server that has CircuitPython where you build it in the open, this is another way to find great open source communities to be part of. All right, kind of big news for us because uh, we didn't know about this. This is, is a weird one. Which is cool. Yeah. Um, the TI calculator, the TI-83 premium CE calculator will ship with a TI Python adapter that is CircuitPython, it runs CircuitPython. And if you look real closely, yeah. you can see it's an at mega, sorry, an at SAMD21, right. at mel at SAMD21, G, uh, E18. So it's basically the same chip as the Trinket or Gemma. Yep. It's kind of like a, um, a little like breakout for the calculator. And this yeah. is a smart way to do it because you can always add other things and you're not stuck with a calculator that event that's harder to update it can't do as many things doesn't have maybe some peripherals that it would work with um, so this is really neat and we didn't know about this, this is exactly why we do circuit Python as open source because people can use this for things like this and not to like talk to us if they don't want to which is cool so um, congratulations Texas Instruments this joins the third calculator that runs Python. So there's a Casio, the Casio that runs MicroPython. There's Numworks, Numworks. that the runs original. MicroPython. So now this is CircuitPython that runs on Texas Instruments TI-85, comes out in March. We'll that, get one. This I will mean, potentially mean CircuitPython in the hands of millions of young folks. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's cool. We know about it. I'd love to see it, see what they did. Yeah. OK, uh, next up, uh, Brent was working on something pretty cool. Um, I have a little snippet video here. He's working on a circuit Python powered LoRa sensor yes. network to connect with Adafruit IO using LoRa radio bonnet for Raspberry Pi. Yep. The yeah. Raspberry Pi has the LoRa bonnet is running our Adafruit Blinka and circuit Python library for LoRa WAN. And then you've got two or as many as you want feathers, each running circuit Python. Uh, it's the feather M zero with LoRa radio and they're reading temperature, humidity, whatever you want. And then sending that data over LoRa or LoRa WAN to the Raspberry Pi, which then uses it as a gateway to the internet. So it's basically how to make a gateway from the internet, either Adafruit IO or the Things Network, to you know any number of small sensor nodes. There's a lot of projects a lot of people want to build. Um, you can now build it. It's all in CircuitPython. It's really easy. Um, and you just plug and play, use a low-cost Raspberry Pi as the gateway, and Feathers as your sensor nodes. So use all of our sensors. Next up, this is our Trellis M4 using CircuitPython. This is called Doc Assist. It's using a Adafruit Neo Trellis M4 and CircuitPython. It's a color-coded um, guide uh, that does keystrokes for repetitive documentation. So if mm. you're using something and you're always writing in the same block of text over and over and over again, it's like Alfred, but yeah, buttons. you can use a Neo Trellis M4, program it in CircuitPython, and it'll just put in all the text. So a lot of people have extended keyboards or they have something like the Elgato Stream Deck, and they do stuff like this. I've done stuff like this. We saw a cool like legal keyboard. There's like legal words that you put in. Um, so this helps with um, people who have to type a bunch of stuff, and it's the same stuff over and over. Look at that paragraphs happening. Yeah. Nice. It's like a thesis writer. Um, <laughs> so this is kind of neat. This is using a Gemma, and it's an arc reactor. Oh, cool. Yeah. So. Um, Good. The other part of this is we've seen lots of arc reactor projects, but this is the easiest, fastest one um, by Anthony Fox using Circuit Python. Good, somebody named Tony. I've noticed that. Yeah. Blit City Tony Stark, is Tony still Fox. working on this robot, so I included mm, it this week. Looks cute. Um, it's an update to the IR controlled Cricket Bot. Now has a chassis and wheels, and uses the IR LED matrix flower code in Circuit okay. Python. Um, this is kind of neat and super weird and... This is like a LiDAR. It's like a yeah. DIY LiDAR. So if you're like, you want to develop your own LiDAR 
And it's using an Itsy Bitsy M4 and it's running Circuit Python. Very interesting. I guess they're using some sensor and then they're doing like the timing and then they're doing the calculations yeah. for doing the distance. It's kind of neat. I didn't think of how you would actually make their own LiDAR, but you can do it and they're doing it. And uh, this was to make sure there was a fully open source LiDAR. Top so to bottom. It's on Hackaday.io. Check it out and uh, see what you think. It's called the uh, Unruly. You have, to, you have to go to Hackaday I to see that. Check that it's out. Called really. All right, um, this is a super cute project. This was the Halloween based Mac project with CircuitPython and just some sound files and some images. You can make your own startup Mac from the decades. Yes, of, you can go through a nostalgia uh, uh, walk yeah. from the mid 80s, early 80s to, uh, to now with all the different startup sounds. And of course, you can change it out to be Windows or whatever you like you can just have any kind of uh put in any chassis and it uses our um yep. image reader um uh display code that cycles through images and plays down files along with them okay i'll say this i am impressed with um spark funds movement towards circuit python so this is like they've seen the light the fourth or fifth post about uh circuit python um on some of their new boards this is um spark this is spark funds guide using CircuitPython with the Lumi drive. And then they just posted another one, so I'll do that next week. Um, but if you're interested in CircuitPython and you're like, hey, I want to get this thing from Spark Fun, you have even more choices. There's more more, so, more CircuitPython hardware. There's 30 right. boards now that you can choose from. OK. Um, this is Energon cubes using a Trinket and CircuitPython. When you put them together, they uh, glow. Yeah, that's good. Uh, this is an i8080 emulator yeah it's interesting they yeah. mean emulator and it's running on ATBT m4 which is you know everyone loves this this processor because it's got yeah. so much memory so you can like do things in circuit python and and you don't really run out of memory um so i guess it's an emulator for an 8080 chip which is yep. kind of neat more progress on the giant board yeah so grogard posted up the giant board beta images are starting to look pretty good Adafruit's Blinka, CircuitPython for Linux, and 100 plus libraries will be included in the default image. That's why we did this. Exactly why we did this. this. Is exactly why we did this. You want humidity sensors, temperatures, yeah. why light that code over and over and over again? You don't have to. If you're doing Linux y stuff and you want to have all the sensor work, we did Blinka, CircuitPython on Linux. Python, so Python, Python. Giant board gets all the stuff out of the box. All right. Um, more tricorder updates because I really like this project. Yeah, you're into it. This and, is from TG uh, Techie? Yeah. Great. Well, we so, just saw this on the show and tell, yep, and now we just on the show and tell. Now we got images showing this upcoming tricorder project. This one, I believe, was from Les Founder, and it was a fairground maze that you use. So as you move this around the wire, if it um, if you touch it, it makes sound. Mm. And uh, this is a Circuit Python project so on kids uh, kidscodex.com. And then next up, this is a really long video. It's worth watching. Um, Bill from AT Makers shows all the ways to connect up. A lot of Adafruit hardware with the Xbox adaptive controller. And uh, this is just one example of many in here. And I think this is like, again, like this is why we do what we do. Um, Bill's able to do a lot of these projects um, with CircuitPython, so thanks. Um, a milestone that we just hit? 1,000 thank yous. So um, we asked y'all if you like CircuitPython to hit a star. Hit a star. On um, Adafruit. Uh, GitHub repo. Oh, you did. So GitHub. How many times did they? Well, GitHub.com. One thousand seven times. Python. One thousand seven. So if you wanna, if you wanna go there and hit star, you'll hear it in the background. It'll go ding. 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 So onward. Um, thanks. This lets us know we're doing good. So thank you for everyone who did that. One thousand thank yous. We started this Circuit Python community on Reddit. We already hit a couple hundred people. Thanks for that, folks. We added our app to the App Store. It's an update, and there is a ton of Blinka. Posted up a video with the tricorder. Now you know why I like the tricorder stuff. Um, big news, FOSDEM is the open source conference. And just happened. Just happened. In Europe. It's the biggest. It's like 8,000 people yeah. attend. All about Linux and open source and free software, and it's, it's a party. And the big, big, big news, um, there was a session called Python for Microcontrollers. Uh, Christine Spindler did it. And there was a video, there's slides, and right away I posted because I want to get the scoop. This is the Pi Board D series, and here's some Ooh, photos. Look at that. From the event. They were selling some there, so these exist. They exist. Um, there's some accessories. They're not on the uh, micropython.org site yet, and these are some of the extra boards. They make perfect earrings. As well. They do look like very nice earrings, yeah. but yeah, it's, it's like a super fast, I think it's an STM F7. 
series, so it's probably running at like 400 megahertz or something like that. Yeah. Uh, probably that has like a megabyte of RAM, a couple megabytes of flash. Uh, yeah. It has these little plug-in connectors, sort of like, it reminds me a little bit of the uh, High Hirose connectors from um, the Edison. You okay. can plug in boards. Um, other Python and hardware news. This is the MicroPython port for OpenISA's big board. Check it out, it's on GitHub. There's, this is one of my favorite pro, uh, projects. This is a MicroPython based Rubik's Cube solver, and this is one. This is not a regular Rubik's Cube. It's a five it's by five. It's a complicated one. Ooh. Um, Hackaday IO. This is a cast volume knob. It's a hardware volume control for Chromecast audio devices. It's based on the SP8266 um, using MicroPython. I really like this project too. This is like Yoga Commander. So yeah, this, Yoga Commander, watch out. This is um, oh, on a Raspberry yeah. Pi. It's Linux and it's controlling um, some Adafruit hardware um, using um, Linux and Python. And it like opens up the blinds and then closes the or dims the lights. And it's uh, gets you relaxed. Yeah, it's like okay, it's relaxed. Relax the heck out of it. Yoga Commander. Yoga <laughs> Commander. <laughs> um, there is some. I think there's like an enemy in like GI Joe. Yeah. <laughs> February 23rd in Rhode Island. This is uh, Intro to Python, Adafruit Circuit Python, and Circuit Python Express by Ocean State Maker. Fairmill, thank you, who just uh, did that, by the way. Um, another event that's coming up, PyCades, February 23rd, 24th in Seattle, Washington. It's a two-day Python conference. Nina will be there doing a Light Up Your Life, Python, and LEDs. I believe Scott Yay. will be there as well. And then PyCon, that's coming up May, 20, uh, May uh, 1st through the 9th. 2019. Wow, nine days? It's epic. It's There's a lot of stuff, week. yeah. Um, we also had our libraries listing all the Linux and um, CircuitPython stuff with Blinka. Yes. We updated the awesome guide. We yes. just added uh, Dave's CircuitPython cheat, cheat sheet. Cheat. That's which is now really there, cool. which is handy. Um, if this sounds like a lot of stuff and you're, you, you want more, um, guess what? Wait, is it a Blinka with a VR goggle? That's right. Okay. <laughs> it is. <laughs> what? Um, you Why can you go, we, we have an In Case You Missed It post, we have the video recap. Um, we have our uh, weekly podcast stuff that I'll talk about. Um, so we got a lot, but it, the easiest thing to do is go to adafruitdaily.com, sign up for Python for microcontrollers. It's a separate site specifically because we never spam. We want to prove it. You can't do it by accent. And so um, that's it. That's uh, Python and hardware news. Epic week. Uh, yeah, there's even more, but you know we we uh, we run out of time each week to to have all of the news. So that's why we do newsletter every week. 